Hey Scorpio, what's going on? We're here with the Timeless Reading. The tarot deck that I'm using is called the Fountain Tarot Deck for anybody that wants to know. Nice. We're starting off with the Emperor and the Four of Swords. This can mean that you're getting a break from your responsibilities, even if it's just for a minute. It can be um, like maybe taking some time off or taking a night off, or you can be doing some type of self-care. The Emperor is about basically like all the stuff that you have going on within your life, the pressure of responsibility, of like needing to be on with things. Four of Swords is going to be being able to take a break from that. So it can be a time where you're going to be doing some sort of resting or you could be like going out and doing something fun. Whatever it is that you're going to do, it will be it will feel restorative rather than draining. And this is important because it feels like with the Emperor you may have a lot of things going on and so you can feel like this is maybe a much needed break or rest or recovery or just self-care in whatever form you're doing that within or like restoration of your energy and it is important to do that because this is where you pull your this is like yeah, this is like the basin where your fuel is that drives the moves that you make as the emperor. So when that's running dry and that's empty, you can feel very burnt out, you can feel uninspired. And so having this time to do what this is that you're doing, where you get a break from that, it's very, very important because it allows what you're doing and for you to show up in a way that's actually sustainable. And this can be a reminder too, if you're at a point where you're like, I have so much going on and I'm feeling taxed right now or I feel like I need a, a break or I need to get my mind right. It can be a good time for you to do that. To tend to yourself, to nurture yourself. Some of you to nurture your relationships or, or your relationship. It can be with people, but it can be with like anything that you care about, what you love. It can be hobbies, those sorts of things. Oh, I am seeing the lovers here. Well, same thing. The stuff that you care about. Some of you can be going through something where there was something that happened. Somebody that you were close with or could have been working with or something like that there can be an issue you can feel like someone's not looking out for you anymore but this could have been somebody that you were like close with at one point in time when the lovers came out it was coming out reversed and i was seeing it be connected with the emperor so even though the lovers can sound like a romantic card, what this can mean is that this can be like trouble that you're having with a coworker or something, different things that this can be. This can also be to you having an argument with somebody that you're close with. Having five of swords and having seven of swords can feel like this person that at one point in time was like on your team or like working with you is sort of working against you. There can be confusion about that, maybe even why that is. I am seeing you in a really powerful position, though I don't feel like anybody can mess with you where you are. The Emperor is like the the power card when it comes to what's going on within 3D. And it, it feels like you're in a really good spot. Like I'm seeing there be, there can be a celebration about a position that you're stepping into. The Emperor and Ace of Swords can be like, now I'm being appointed this position and that's what I'm going to be doing. Or it can be things about your life that are coming together or being made clear. And Four of Swords and Four of Wands can be a time that you get to spend where there's going to be a focus on you stabilizing your energy, getting into the right headspace, making sure that your energy is where it needs to be in order for you to do whatever you need to do. And Burr can mean too that you have to sort of check yourself and there's a lot that you're doing on your own because the emperor is a leader and it's also an independent energy as well. 
It shows you being in a position where there's a lot of responsibility that you have, not just when it comes to tasks that you need to do, but it's also like taking responsibility for yourself and of showing up and being dependable. I do feel like things are becoming a lot more clear for you within your life at this point, and I'm seeing you in a really great position within your life too, where it seems like stuff that could have possibly been a question before or it wasn't clear before. It can be a time when things are being made apparent, when things are being made very clear, and it feels too like that, that allows you to relax as well. Like there's not so much of a concern about things. Some of you, you're gonna be, you're gonna be or you got unexpected news But this will only be stuff that clarifies things for you. So it's not going to be something comes in and then you feel thrown off. This is more so like, we'll just, yeah, I, I get this feeling for some of you. If, if you've been in a position where like no, where you've been waiting to see if you're getting like appointed something, because this even feels like you're being hired for something, is the feeling that this is giving. For those of you that that's something that's going on for you right now, it's going to be clarity about your life, what you have going on, like where you're going, those types of things. And it, it can be even like a role that's being made clear to you, like you're going to be doing this now. And it feels like it clears things up for you, because Ace of Swords can be that something was undecided before or like it needed to be decided upon or we didn't know what was going to be happening and ace of swords can be that moment where you're like okay i see and i'm seeing you in like a high position here like something something that holds meaning for you and to have four of wands be connected with it although i see four of wands as being different things in this scenario four of wands is feeling like there's going to be some type of celebration over something that you're doing and then you feel like, oh, I can relax now. It's going to be that. Meanwhile, it does look like you have something else going on. So even though I'm seeing it be like maybe you get the position or something like that, this will definitely hold meaning for you. Having the lovers reversed and having five of swords and seven of swords can mean that you're having trouble with somebody around you. The lovers I see as being somebody that you have a close relationship with or you did or you are in close proximity with this person. And because it's the emperor, you can feel like this spans across different areas of your life. Because the emperor is the amalgamation of all of the different kings, this isn't just in one area of your life. This can be something that affects you in different areas of your life. So this person, it feels like they're not only in one area of your life, they're somehow affecting multiple areas of your life. It does seem like things are gonna be all right though. Like this is an interpersonal obstacle is what this is looking like more than anything. I feel like you know, you know what's up with this person. Like even though they can be doing things and not being totally upfront about it, I get the feeling that you know what's up with this person i'm not seeing this be something that's hidden from you i'm seeing you be aware of this i'm also seeing you be in an environment where balance is important and it also looks like teamwork is important too whether this just be teamwork with you within different areas of your life where you have to integrate like this part of yourself and that part of yourself, but it can also be with other people too, and that be a part of things. And you needing to make sure that you're in the right space to be sort of on that team level. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm seeing these things that allude to you being in some type of, in some type of higher up position is what this looks like. 
it's like you get to have a break from something i get this in a like you earned it type of way that's how this is coming across Make sure that you're playing by the rules here and showing up how you feel like you should be showing up. Because what this is looking like, having Five of Swords and having Wheel of Fortune can be somebody that was, somebody that was doing something to try to put themselves at an advantage, but could have been doing so in a way that was, like this is giving like Machiavellian vibes here with this five of swords wheel of fortune seven of swords can be somebody that's doing something shady and like not very respectable in order to to change things in their favor but all they're gonna get is just like their karma essentially for this like it feels even like it puts them backwards so just make sure that if you're caught up in a situation like that not to get stuck under the wheels of this so as not to be run over because i get the feeling that this person energetically is going to be Just keep, it feels like you have enough going on that you can just mind your business and not need to mind what this other person is doing, although you can just be aware of what they have going on. But I'm, I'm seeing so much that you have going for you. I'm seeing that this is gonna be, Emperor and Four of Wands can be a celebratory time for you and a time where you're gonna be able to relax because something will be made clear and this will be something that's very prominent and important for you within your life. So this will feel very significant to basically your life path. That's what's gonna be happening. Now over here, I'm seeing there's some type of interpersonal issue. I'm seeing that that is going to be overcome as well, which means that you can be in the midst of like trying to problem solve with something, like how do I handle this and working through it, but it can be sort of a twisted situation. Something where like the lovers when it's right side up is gonna be you working on a team with another person, like for the context of this reading, but because the lovers is reversed, it can be like you and this person that you're meant to like be maintaining some type of like positive or healthy relationship. That's not the case with the two of you. And then the chariot shows that there's this split that ends up happening and I'm getting that if you keep doing what you're supposed to be doing, things are really gonna work out in your favor and this person is definitely going to like reap, reap the karma of the choices that they're making and you're being reminded not to get involved to the point where you're doing things where you would not be doing your responsible stuff. So it, it feels like just minding your business and you're gonna see things really go in your favor And it looks like this person on the other side of things is gonna like ruin their chance at something. That's what this is looking like. Cause Five of Swords is gonna be somebody doing something that will be self-serving and benefit them, but not benefit those around them. And it feels like this is important cause I'm seeing something about like teamwork or like relationships, like rapport be important here. And then Wheel of Fortune is gonna be something changing because of that, but in like a karmic type of way. Because Wheel of Fortune will be like the universe seeing something and being like, oh, you want to be on your own doing things like we'll ostracize you further than it can be like that type of thing that happens. And somebody sabotages some sort of plan where something may have even before worked in their favor, but because of trying to do it in some type of like misconstrued way, just something that's like not the right way to, to do it given the environment, it looks like it ends up working in your favor. So... Again, I would just like mind your business as much as you can. And although it's not, you're not being guided to like turn a blind eye to this person, you can be aware of what they're doing, but don't get involved and get on like some petty type of level with them because they're basically like messing this up for themselves. So yeah, if you've been working with somebody, you're definitely going to be favored in this situation. Okay, you have nothing to worry about here.
this is actually good news for some of you this is somebody that you work with i'm seeing three of pentacles you can work with this person have to like collaborate with them something like that um but yeah basically if they could have even had an opportunity that they were going to be given but because of how they were it's like because of how they were acting or something like that i'm seeing it get ruined for them but but like they did it so it's it was in their hands is what this looks like and i'm i'm seeing like your stuff be on this side and it seems like you're over here with peace of mind they're like on their own little thing over here i get the feeling that they may even be spiraling or something like that i don't want to tap too far into their energy it's just where they are currently you know they could turn it around tomorrow just to clarify but it seems like kind of keeping yourself as separate as you can possibly because over here with four of swords shows like you feeling safe like you feeling like your mind is at ease you being able to show up and do your thing because you don't have like all this drama going on this feels like a lot of drama and like shifts that are going to be happening that are going to be like karmic things that will happen but for the sake of someone understanding the way that the choices that they make impact them and that going on and i feel like you don't need to get involved in that at all because i'm definitely seeing like the this creates a divide i wonder too like maybe you were in some type of competition or something with this person and i'm i'm seeing basically you guys go into like these split timelines is what this feels like yeah but it feels like they may have used one type of tactic and it looks like you used a different type and whatever it was that you did because of just keeping yourself in a space where you're doing your stuff that that puts you in a different place than this person Prioritizing yourself and your self-care and not getting mixed up in things that are not going to like really be doing much of anything for you. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I am sending everybody love and I hope to catch you guys next time.